guys until you hey, come back I'll to entertain. You, <laughs> We're gonna keep that. Okay. What's up, guys? Until you welcome back to entertain ASMR. Nikki is back. In fact, we haven't left. This is part two immediately right now. So we're going to get into this. I'm opening up Word here. We got a document. Um, I guess, yeah, I can try to zoom it in a little bit here. Yeah, as soon as we ended the video, we realized yeah. there was crazier stories. Like those first stories, those weren't even crazy, man. Yeah, we just have got crazier. Things. Just zoom in this in a little bit here. And we also brought these little things here. A, a bit I, of marine life. Uh, I have a seashell and he has a starfish. Maybe if I talk into the starfish. Oh, by the way guys, these two videos are the first time I'm actually using my recording mics to make a video. Because I figured it'd be easier if we were both using these mics, you know, instead of one in the center. We both have our own mics, so we have two separate mics here yes in case a few of you have never even as much as seen an ocean in real life is, or a starfish for that matter this is what they sound like almost almost hollow sounding like a tree as ancient as a tree and almost sounding as such and this is what a shell sounds like talking into a shell but enough with the aquatic items. Let's talk about all these crazy stories. And yeah, we got Mr. Lee's class, Hunter Stabs Intel, like just some crazy, crazy stories. So I'm sure you guys are wondering what the hell you got stabbed. We're going to get into that, but that's, that's just to draw you in. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, um, you, uh, we were, um, Intel and I were in uh, ninth grade together. This We had this teacher named Mr. Lee. Um, he, he was his first year teaching, and he was, he basically got ran over by the whole, everyone in the class. It sort of turned into a mob sort of thing in the yeah. class. The, the kids ruled, it's like a freaking, what's that, uh, Stephen King? Yeah. What, oh, that Stephen King movie? Like a Stephen King movie. What is it freaking called? Oh my gosh, hold on one second. You can remember the this. The corn, the kids and the corn, man. Yeah. The kids who overturned the, you know what I'm talking about. What I is that freaking movie it. called? Anyways, <laughs> if you know what it is, leave it in the comments. Yeah, if you know what it is, write it down in the comments. So, um, Mr. Lee, let me just give you an example of the kind of shenanigans that would go on. He would talk and the kids would just inter overturn him and interrupt. Not as crazy. The crazy thing is the kids started smoking in the classroom. They'd light cigarettes and, uh, or with these. It was those vapes, too. Those yeah. little, those, um, they were flavored like blueberry and stuff. Kids would buy them for like $5. Um, they, they would duck behind the, um, the lab tables and smoke in the classroom. Yeah. And in the, oh, Mr. Lee was in the front, the foreground of the classroom. In the back corner, and there, there was, was this exhale. Oh, oh, yeah, the lady. Yeah. Miss Sweeney. Miss Sweeney. And she, oh my gosh. <laughs> she was there to watch over the class because Mr. Lee could not, could not watch the class by himself, but the kids would smoke the pens and Mr. Lee would look at them and he wouldn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. And yeah. this this lady, Miss Sweeney, she was sort of the, the backup. It was crazy. She was this she big was old like, lady, man. She was the muscle. The muscle. <laughs> and Mr. Lee was the teacher, but she was the enforcer. That's the best yeah, way to that's, put it. Oh, yeah. Big old lady. She wore dark sunglasses, sat in the corner with her freaking Sudoku or crossword puzzles. She smelled like a casino. She was stronger than any man I've ever known. I would always see her smoking cigarettes outside like... She would go out to the front after class and smoke. She had a bad smoking problem. Yeah, and she must have had arthritis. Arth arthritis. Yeah, and diabetes because she, her feet, she would wear these slippers and her feet were so freaking callous. I can drink yeah. my up there. <laughs> her feet were so, so calloused. In purple. In purple. They were legit purple and we would all look at them it and was, the skin was flaking off. And oh, yeah, it was, it was nuts. It was, it was messed up. Some of the kids would call her Barney. <laughs> and she would always make weird faces at this uh, kid Byron. <laughs> at the time, you know, we th 
yeah, she she was an interesting interesting character. Um, definitely the, the crazy. So uh, the point is, uh, Mr. Lee couldn't handle the classroom, and they would call in one of the campus um, supervisors. Campus. Guillermo. And Guillermo was a character. This class was full of characters. Guillermo was this big Mexican guy who wore he would wore the sports T-shirts of all the teams of yeah, the high school. He, I was in uh, track and field and cross country. Wear those shirts like he was part of the teams or like a supervisor, anything he was not, but he wore them every day, and it always confused me why is he wearing that? Does he show up to school wearing like an inappropriate shirt, and the staff tells him to like put, put on a different shirt? I wasn't sure. And Guillermo was almost um, like a cartoon character because he would wear the same thing. To, to be fair, most people at that school they were like they were like street. This isn't Cap, guys. Like, everyone there, they were a character. No Cap. No Cap. Everyone was a character at school. They were. They were. And he, he, he would always wear these sunglasses. And he'd chew gum. Yeah. And he's like, he'd walk in there, and if Mr. If you were acting up in that class, Mr. Lee would um, write your name on the board, and Guillermo would come and take you away, far away, very far away. So every, every day, Guillermo would come in. And he'd look on the board, and he's like, uh, Roger, um, be like, you're going to discipline, boss. Yeah, he's like, you want to go to discipline, boss? And one time, one time in that class, I knew he was going to come. So I went up on the board, and under discipline, I wrote, Guillermo, comma, boss. <laughs> yeah. And he came in, and I remember he walked up, and he's like, let's see who's going to discipline today, boss. And he walks up, takes his sunglasses off. He's chewing his gum. He puts like his Coca-Cola down that he always had around with him. Yeah. He puts it down and he's like, couldn't believe his name was on there. And he just walked out of the class. I thought, I thought he was going to be like, okay, like we're going to wait here until someone admits to who wrote this, but he did it. He left. And this, this guy had black beady eyes, like a vulture yeah. or a crow, almost lifeless in there wild to be like, these black beady it was it was crazy it was kind of scary like uh yeah. like he didn't have a soul or something it was weird it was crazy but the craziest thing that happened in the class was with hunter and who was that one kid who would oh wow you know that kid i'm talking about he wear the sweaters and do his i, I think i think i should tell this story yeah, because yeah, yeah. you can give your reaction a second time to what happened okay but basically what happened was uh so there was this kid in our class named Justin, Justin and Hunter. I always tried to make sure that uh, everything was fine with Justin because Hunter would like to, you know, mess with him, bully him a lot. So one time we're passing around papers and we're passing the papers back and he's supposed to give it to, um, to Justin. Hunter's supposed to give it to Justin and he keeps going like this, like tracking it back. <laughs> Justin's trying to grab it. So I stand up for Justin and I say, hey, asshole, give him the paper. And Hunter's like, oh, what, is he your butt buddy or something? And I'm like, no, I'm just standing up for someone that you're bullying. And he got so mad at me, he gave me this crazy look. He's like, <sighs> like breathing, breathing crazy. really loud, making fists with his hands, picks up his pencil. Guys, I am not kidding and stabs me in my hand with the pencil, stabs me in this hand with the pencil. And I just remember Nikki just laughing so hard, like could not believe what happened. And Mr. Lee sees all of this yeah, and he yeah. says, hey, he has right to defend himself. You, that was freaking crazy. He, I literally got stabbed, guys. Guys, these stories are not fake. Yeah, I, I was swear. Sitting. I swear these stories are not fake. I was sitting right next to him, yeah. and I remember uh, you standing, you just like, hey, we, give we sat next to each other in class. Well, you sat like, no, Justin sat next to me. You sat behind Justin. Yeah, and I, I remember watching the whole thing go down because it was just kind of quiet. No one was doing anything. Yeah. And, he, and then he, he, like, he, I remember the face that he made before he stabbed. Yeah. He was crazy. Yeah, he was like, crazy. He was so mad. And then he just got the pencil. He's like, just stab and then there's like hand. his hand was like bleeding. squirted out of my hand yeah it was crazy and I was like what the hell I know yeah and 
the teacher's just like, he has right to defend himself. Literally watched me get stabbed by a pencil. Didn't you get up and walk out? Yeah, I walked out and yeah. just went to the nurse. And it, it, with the other, the, yeah, it, that was nuts. And they reach, remember the, the teacher's aid he had? The guy, and then he's like, I'm going to kick you. He's like, I'm going to beat the crap out of you. Oh, Do you remember that? Oh my, I Do just you remember, remember yeah. this right now. Yeah. That, what was his name? Max I don't know. or something? Max, yeah, yeah. Max and Billy. Because we were to make fun of him. Yeah, and we were, I said we would make fun of him. We were to make fun of him. We should be like, hey. Yeah, we would just like, he was a TA, but he would never He was a do senior. Anything. You know? He would never do anything, so like everyone used to joke about him. It wasn't like we'd like make fun of him. We'd just be like, yo, who is this guy? He just sits in the corner every day. But yeah. what did I do to piss him off? I, remember I can't like, remember, Sir, man. What did he do? He like grabbed my shirt or something? Yeah, he grabbed your shirt and then, um, yeah, he grabbed your shirt or something like that. And then they made you guys both walk to the office. Mr. Lee's like, I don't both even, you guys get out That's here. crazy. I remember this, but I don't even like remember most of it. It's yeah, I don't. I don't remember the. I remember both you guys got kicked out, mm-hmm. and then when you were in the hallway, did he, did he grab you in the hallway, something or something? He, is something. he's like, I'm gonna kick you. I remember he said grab you. Yeah, yeah. And I, I said something like, Do you really think that's a smart move? You're a senior. You do that. You're not gonna graduate. Like they'll kick you out of the school. You're not gonna graduate. And I think he realized there, and he got really mad. And I think I remember like. He saw like a picture of my girlfriend at the time and he was like, no, it's cause he said, yeah, he's like, oh, like you're just an annoying freshman kid. I bet you don't even like have a girlfriend. Like no one wants to be around you. I was like, actually I do have a girlfriend and she's probably more attractive than anyone that you could pull yourself. <laughs> I was just, you know, just getting heated in an argument with him and he got very, very, very upset about all that but I don't even remember what ended up happening I just remember um I think like me or Nikki took a picture of him with our phone and Nikki's like you should make it your phone wallpaper and walk up to him and be like hey Hunter what what's or not Hunter uh, Max Max what time is it and just show him the phone <laughs> with a picture of him <laughs> dude I totally forgot about that until now that's yeah. very crazy I was just I just remembered it when you yeah, that's a good right. thing to remember that wow right. I'm just like shocked like that was I can't believe I don't remember that do you remember uh, it, we were going to talk about the hot wing thing and after we were down in that area uh, yeah so um, we used to hang out and stuff after we like to do challenges like hot wing stuff yeah um, and we went to this wing stop and we, we were just like let's get the hottest ones and see what happens but after that, I remember remember the coke in Anthony. Yeah, that was jacked up. He, he threw he threw a soda at his brother, and his brother chased him around outside while I was waiting for their dad to come. Then their dad came, and I found out that uh, they were gonna have dinner at uh, like a Chinese place. So we had already ate, <laughs> and then his dad invited me, and we got there, and like we like just like could barely eat at all. Nikki was trying to force himself to eat. Anthony didn't want to eat. I was just, uh, yeah, I couldn't eat I at all. a bystander. Yeah. yeah. I just watched it all go down, and your dad was really upset you did that to Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was funny. I can't remember that. Yeah, but about the hot wings, so, um, this was way back when I still ate stuff like that, you know, and, um, we were, we were at a, uh, wing stop, and it was, like, midnight. I remember we watched, it was a regular show. Oh, yeah. We watched the oh, regular yeah. show, and it was, uh, the hot wing challenge or whatever, and it was, like, Skips was supposed to eat the oh, wings, yeah. I think. And we're, we're like, bro, like, what if we did that in real life? Like, let's just go to wing stop and ask them to make the hottest wings. So they, they said, okay, if you can complete, like, if you can eat these, we'll give you a certificate for, like, a free thing of wings. Like, you can come back here and eat. So it was like midnight, like 1230 or something. And this guy, they give him the hottest flavor with every spice they have. So it's hotter than the hottest they have. It, it was like soup. It was almost like soup. Yeah. Devil soup. And I just couldn't believe, like I could not believe this guy was like, I, I tried, you guys, I tried one of those and I went to the bathroom and threw up immediately. Yeah, he went in the bathroom because I, I don't want to do it by myself. And I was like, man, how am I going to eat all these? He tried one. Yeah, I tried one and it, it was.
was game over, but was over. after I threw up my entire meal, I was able to eat again, so I guess I was alright. I don't know if I uh, just didn't want to waste my money and not eat them, or, because, you know, broke high school kids. He or I just wanted to prove to myself that I he, could. He pulled it off, though, guys. Yeah, it was... It, but it was intense for him. I have a video somewhere of him just, like, sweating, intensely sweating between each one, and just dripping down from his face, making crazy faces and stuff between them. That's crazy. I actually, recently, I was at uh, B-Dubs, and I was with all my cousins, and I said, hey, if I, got, if I get 15 blazing wings, will you pay for my meal? And my cousin's like, yeah. So I did it. That was, that was painful. It reminded me of, I don't know which one was more painful. Probably think, the wing stop. I think the wing stop more yeah. on there. He said everything they had. But, uh, honestly, you could have just threw the wings in the trash and said you finished them. Yeah. They gave me some coupons, too. That was yeah. cool. So I went back. I know we used those eventually. Yeah. And then what else do we have on here? Oh, oh yeah. Midnight. Um, sort of in the same vein of food category. Um, wasn't here, but he was a couple blocks down. We live a couple of blocks from each other. Um, I had I had this neighbor, bro, and I haven't told you these stories, but I had this neighbor across the street. He's dead now. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll call him Michael. That's his real name, Michael. We'll call him Michael. Yeah, so yeah, this neighbor, Michael. Um, I wish I had a picture of him. He's just this uh, bigger guy, and he would always be outside watching the neighborhood. Ever since I was a little kid, just always out there, he would have an RC car um, that he'd drive around later in his life. But um, I, I always remember seeing him. I would just wave to him. That's you know, as neighbors do. We don't really, no, you don't always get to know your neighbors. Um, and one time I helped him move when I was about 14 or something, and he had all these scars, like like he was operated upon. And I sort of built up this this false image of him. I, I guess subconsciously, probably. It's sad. It, the scars could have been like self harm, though. Um, they're more like operation, like all the way, like a like one down there, and then one on his chest. Um, is I'm sure he had heart problems, I guess. Or he's a Frankenstein monster. Yeah, I know. Or he's a Frankenstein monster. I think subconsciously, I sort of built this character because he's always looking outside. Um, the neighborhood. He used to tell me such creepy stories about this guy. Yeah. Like, it, sometimes in the middle of the night, everyone would be asleep, but you just see the lights on in Michael's yes. house. And he's just standing at the window like... Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you could see this silhouette outside the window. And me and my brother, we would always peek through the blinds to see if he was there. And we were so paranoid that he could, he knew we were watching him. That he knew that we were watching him, watching us. Yeah. And the crazy thing is... Um, is it, Ever since I was a little kid, periodically, I, I probably, I would have nightmares of Michael, like, uh, at least five or half a dozen times, I, I, I've had nightmares of Michael either trying to break in the front door, like these crazy things where someone's at the door. Is it bad? I just imagine the nightmares, like you're just sleeping in here, and yeah. everything's unsettling, and you wake up, and everything's quiet, and you can't find anyone. And you just like peer through the blinds there and you see Michael's silhouette in yeah, the dude. window and you close them all scared. And then you just hear your door get kicked down. <laughs> I know, he, he kind of, you know, he's a friendly guy. He just wait, you know, he's, he almost smiles a little too much. So in these nightmares, it would, it would always be either this, either me at the front door or in my mother, my mother's house right now. Um, I would be at the front door um, and I would be, someone would be trying to break in and I'd be on the other side of the door as a kid trying to force this and it was this tension in the dream of someone trying to break in the front door and me trying to stop them and it was Michael it was always Michael or I'd be in the backyard in the gate and the same thing someone's trying to break in the door and I'm holding the ground and uh, yeah so that, that was kind of crazy so you see what I mean by subconsciously I built this character up to someone so when I see scars I start asking questions um, but the uh, funny story about Michael is um, one time me and my brother, I have a twin brother, and one of my, he, you know, Sam, he was in my band in high school. Uh, <laughs> I guess you should say his name. Wow. But yeah, there's probably a lot of Sam. Yeah. 
Sam, he, we were spending the night in this room, and it was like 1 a.m. We were prank calling people, like, for hours. And uh, we're like, bro, let's order a pizza to my neighbor across the street. So that way we can watch it. <laughs> that way you we you reminded me of another story. Keep continuing. Okay, okay, yeah. So I was like, dude, there's I've got this weird freaking neighbor across the street. He's always watching people. Let's order him a pizza. So we went on Domino's website. We did it through the website so they can track her phone number. And then we typed in his, Michael's address, his name, and then they asked for a confirmation email and phone number. So we made up some random e- um Oh, yeah, this is good. We made up a random email. Um, and then the phone number that we put in, we put the McDonald's phone number 24 hours. <laughs> so that way we figured if they try and call back, they will go to McDonald's. Yeah. So it's like 1 o'clock, we order the pizza, and we're just sitting here waiting, watching out the window, and then we see the, the Domino's car finally pull up. And then the pizza guy gets out, and he's pounding on Michael's door at like 1 or 2 a.m., and then we see Michael open the door. We're busting up laughing. And we're trying to close the blinds like he's going to see across that. But the funniest thing was um, we ordered a pizza extra small. No sauce, no cheese, just anchovies. Cause we, <laughs> it must have been so weird making that for the people. Yeah. yeah. So when the pizza guy, the pizza guy, we saw him go back to his car and then pull out his phone. And he starts calling. And then he... He calls the phone and he got so pissed. He hit his car hood and got in his car and slammed the door super hard because it traced back to McDonald's. And he slammed his car and peeled out of there. It was, yeah, that's funny. Oh, I feel so bad for that guy. I know. I feel bad for everybody. I can never make a mess. Store. To Michael, you know. Because he's dead. He's dead. Rest in peace, Michael. Rest in peace, Michael. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now he knows. But yeah, what was it? What were you talking about? What was oh. this? Um... One night, I, I spent the night here at Nikki's house with another friend, Milo. Oh, yeah. And we decided to prank call people. Um, oh, this reminds me. I'm, I'm going to say two of them. One time, I was with Nikki and my other friend, Max, and we prank called this guy. There's countless uh, countless videos of this on YouTube. His name is Fred Herbert. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he owned uh, Herbert Bill Bonds. <laughs> and we used to prank call him because he was like the target of like this mass prank calling thing. It's all over YouTube. They had like sound bites, right? And they would yeah. have conversations. If you just type in like Herbert Bail Bonds on, uh, or like Fred Bail Bonds on YouTube, you'll find all these prank calls. They're pretty funny. Uh, sad part about this is a few years after this guy did pass away. Um, rest in peace, Fred Herbert. But And I feel bad people ruined his life through prank calls, but... Guys, they're just so funny. They're so funny. But we called this guy. We, we let him on for like 20 minutes um, about we needed to bail someone out. My friend Max was doing this like weird voice. And then at the end, he said, okay, uh, I've been, try- been trying to ask you this entire call. What's your friend's name? And then Max just says, Gregory Stevens, which was the name of someone from the original prank calls. And you can just hear the guy sigh. He's like... Oh my god. And he, oh my gosh. he hangs up. He just hangs up immediately after that. And it was so funny. And it reminds me another time we tried prank calling them here with Milo. That one was the most recent one. It was the last time we ever tried prank calling them. Uh, we got a hold of him for like 20 seconds, but then his son or someone kept answering. So it wasn't like as as good as the other one. But uh, we would use a soundboard of himself to prank call them. It was, you can find that soundboard too. Uh, yeah, we just used to prank with the soundboards, and we called all these other people. We prank called like McDonald's, Subway. I remember some of my friends, like one of my friends, Taylor, and she's like, "Oh, I was talking, and I was talking in a British accent when I prank called her," and she said, uh, "I'm pretty sure this is Intel," and said my name and. Guys, it was so like I was like, how did she know that was me? I I do accents pretty well, so it was uh it was just like really trippy. But I I also remember Nikki gave me the number of this guy from this oh, place in Oklahoma sure, called that was the Rip Crib. Yeah, my old boss, the general manager of this yeah, restaurant. I and at. I tried calling him, but he didn't answer that night. But Nikki was going away on a mission for two years. So this is like our last night hanging out for a while. So I wasn't going to see him for like two years. So I, I decided, you know,
know what? He really wanted he really wanted to prank all this guy. So in, in Nikki's honor, I'm going to mess with this guy for like two years. So every time occasionally I'd feel like doing prank calls, I would just call this guy at the rib crib and I would mess with him so hard, guys, and he would scream, he'd be like, Who are you? Tell me who you are right now. And he would get so mad and I prank called him so many times and uh, I would use like the Fred Herbert uh, soundboard to mess with them too, and he believed it. Oh my God, it was just great times. Dude. I wish Nikki was there for those. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know that, bro. Yeah, I I told you when you got back, I prank called him a few Dang. times. Bro, you, let's prank call someone right now, dude. Yeah, we should go prank call someone. So guys, we're gonna go do some prank calls right now. But is is that all? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's all we do covered. All our bases. Prank call him right now on air. Yeah, but we'd have to turn it down a little bit. You guys okay. want to do a prank call with us? They make, said yes. Yeah, they said yes. Make, <laughs> okay, sure I'll turn you, it down. make sure you star 67 it. Let's do my sister. All right. Oh, I thought we were going to prank call the rip. <laughs> Is that his name? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have it? I might have it, but it's on the phone we're using to record here. Oh, okay. Let me see if I've got it. What if you could find it on... Uh, on Google. Let me just whisper for you guys while he does this. Let me check it out. Hopefully we can find John. Oh, by the way, I do not condone or authorize any of you uh, doxing or pranking these people from this video. I do. This, this is solely uh, entertainment purposes. Yeah. Uh, people like Fred Herbert and other people that have been victims of prank calls in the past. I know it may sound hypocritical saying this but please do not witch hunt them and please do not prank them but uh i'm gonna go ahead and break that rule right now but don't tell you to and if you're gonna prank call somebody make sure it's like a you know somewhere that's open 24 hours like an ihop or a mortuary yeah those people could use some jokes <laughs> <laughs> okay i can't find it i can't find it but we're just gonna do r russian roulette style Oh, I've got, I've got you, bro. I know exact, I know exactly. You know that moment where something just freaking clicks, and you yeah. know exactly. Let me see if I can pull up my contacts from. I don't know if I can pull them up from uh, from my Apple Watch here. I'm really not sure. Here's a dude that texted me. How about that? Oh, he texted me and said, "Hey, I've been getting spam called. Look at this." Here, I won't show you his name, but look, he said, uh, some random dude texted me. Uh, it's not focusing, but he said, I've been getting a lot of, he's, he, t he texted me, he's like, who is this? And I said, who is this? And he said, he's been getting a lot of spam calls from an unknown number. And when I star 67 them back, and if it goes to voicemail, it will often state the number that I called. It's different from, the anyway, this guy he told me that he's been getting a lot of weird prank calls, so let's prank call him. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I have no clue who he is. His name is Josh. I'm not going to say his name. You can say his first name. Josh. Josh. Let's okay. prank call Josh. So, uh, are we going to do it from your phone or my phone? Well, my phone's here, okay, so we're going to have to do it from your phone. Let me type Why it. Why don't you just... Yeah. When he stars 65s, then. Now he's not. Wait a second. You could have just saved it as a contact, too, and then edit the number to star 67. Oh, that's true. That's what I do. And then sometimes I forget to change it back, so when I bring friends and try to call them again, I can't get a hold of them. And then I realize I've been calling them from an unknown number. We're gonna do a different guy, actually. Oh, I guess it's not Josh. Who? Not Josh. Who? This guy named Mario. Mario. It's not the Italian plumber, guys. It might be. All right, dude, it's already star 67. Okay. You'll know sure my voice. Turn it down a little bit. Okay. I'm going to whisper when I do it. <laughs> okay, we'll just bring it back a little bit here. Like, yeah, that's a good volume. Mario.
where you find me? I don't know. We'll figure that out. Wait, what? I can hear you. We shall figure that out. I love you, Mario. I'm coming to confess my feelings to you. Hey, you won't come anytime, man. Okay. But I'm in Florida, so. Okay. Well, I'll track you down every inch of this earth if I have to. Ask if you can talk to anyone else in the house. Can I talk to anyone else in your household? Who is this? Johnny. Johnny. Johnny Football. Johnny Football. Who? Johnny Football. <laughs> Thank you so much for